Let us know what's your current status. Current status uh, changing over to uh, AT351. We're not about those eBay turbos anymore? Not about it. What are you talking about? You got all kinds of room in here. Look where the center section is. Comes down straight onto the frame rail, man. Man, no. You just put a 90 on there. Or actually, no. I don't like the 90. The 40, angle I it. could do a 45, but I don't like the 90. Angle it. I ran the 90 on my whole set. It's all right. That's true. That's true you did. I did. All right. Well. But I'd probably got to cut this, either round these off, cut this little bracket off here. It's hard to see, but um, other than that, I think I can use the original piping I had. I might cut this tube down about an inch because I have it shoved up pretty far in yeah. there. I don't want to block some of that off. I'm not certain that 90 would have done you much good with that elbow because it's, it's like way up here. Maybe. It might have yeah. been okay. But what I got is good. That, that silicone... Full 180 is good. Yeah, that was goofy, but it snakes right in there like you. Like like it, you it, it looks like it was made for it. Perfect. Yeah, it's straight in there. Just finished up installing the hardware on the other side, so this is about to be the first start on this setup. Fired it up earlier with the passenger side installed. Um, had to add a union to get long enough oil feed, and I accidentally kinked this line, so hopefully that doesn't mess anything up. This is pinched pretty bad right there in between the charge pipe and the compressor outlet, but I did update all this to a two and a half inch. I have two bypass valves now to help with the surge, if that was surge that killed this. So we're about to start this thing up, take it for a little cruise. I couldn't get the turbo blankets on there anymore, but I did wrap that down pipe a little better. And all that's left after this is tuning and put these fatties on here. These things are just really soft. I think they're, uh, yeah, that's the circumference, 90 uh, inches, and then 14 inches wide, 15 inch rim. I think it works out to be like 29 and a half inch tall tire. I need the height because when I took it to the track last time, this thing was running out of gear. Sounds pretty good. I don't hear any crazy exhaust leaks. I see some water dripping out out of that B band. So I'll tighten that up. It's already starting to smoke a little bit.